This video gives a proof of the extreme value theorem. The extreme value theorem says that if x is a compact space and f takes x to r is a continuous map, then there is a point c in x such that f of c is less than or equal to f of x for all x in x, and there is a point d in x such that f of d is bigger than or equal to f of x for all x in x. The idea here is that f achieves a minimum value, f of c, and a maximum value, f of d. You may have seen a version of this theorem in Calculus 1, where x is a closed interval from a to b. In other words, we have a continuous map from a closed interval, a, b, to r, and it has to achieve a maximum value and a minimum value on that closed interval. So let's prove this extreme value theorem. So we're going to assume that x is compact and f takes x to r is continuous. Let's consider open sets of r of the form negative infinity to f of a where a is an element of x. If we intersect these open sets with our image f of x, we get an open set of f of x in the subspace topology. Now let's consider two possibilities. Case one is that these open sets cover f of x, and case two is that they don't. Well now, if the open sets cover f of x, then since x is compact and f is continuous, we know that f of x is compact, and therefore any open cover has a finite subcover. So there are finitely many of these sets, say negative infinity f of a sub 1, intersection f of x, through negative infinity f of a sub n, intersection f of x, that cover f of x. Consider the maximum number between f of a sub 1 through f of a sub n. There has to be a maximum one because they're just finitely many. Of course, it could be a tie, but it'll still be a maximum. Let's say it is f of a sub i for sub i, where i is between 1 and n. Then f of a sub i is bigger than or equal to f a sub 1, f a sub 2, and so on, since it's the max, which means that f of a sub i is not an element of the interval from negative infinity to f a sub k for any k, where 1 is less than or equal to k is less than or n for any of those finitely many a sub k. But that means that these, this finite subcollection, in fact, doesn't cover f of x because it's leaving out the point f of a sub i. That is a contradiction, so case 1 doesn't work. Therefore, we must be in case 2, and we know that the open sets, in fact, don't cover f of x. Therefore, there must be a d in x such that f of d is not in any of these sets. So f of d has to be bigger than or equal to f of a for all a in x. But hey, 
that's exactly what we are looking for. So we have found our max value um, achieved at, at the point D. So that proves sort of half of the conclusion of the extreme value theorem. And um, to show that there is a C in X such that F of C is less than or equal to F of X for all X in X, you just proceed similarly using the open sets of the form F of A infinity intersected with the image F of X. So that's the proof of the extreme value theorem. And now you know that the calculus one fact is really a fact about compact spaces and continuous maps. It just uses the fact that the closed interval is compact. Now, this makes me realize we haven't actually proved that this closed interval is compact. If you'd like to see the proof of that, check out my other video on the proof of the Heine-Borel theorem.